Hello everybody and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. This is going to be the final official episode in this Let's Play because all we have left to do is confront Grunty. We beat the Fiery Furnace of Fun last time. <laughs> it took us a little bit of doing. But now we're at the end. Woot! Oh, Grunty took the washing machine and the Grunty plushie with her. I wanted those. Anyhow, let's follow Grunty up these stairs, shall we? There's the other brown cauldron. Just in case you need that shortcut. Yeah, as we can see, this is the scene we saw in the opening movie with Grunty at our cauldron. And we need to have one final note to our 810 notes, so you are not allowed to skip any worlds. Because even if you get all the notes from the first eight worlds, you will still only have 800. Gotta visit every world. <laughs> Wait an ominous room. Here's the room of Grunty's machines. That's interesting. That door seems to be locked. That door also seems to be locked. This stupid quest, you should stop. You won't get to be at the top. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there. To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jibbies make it complete. This is the final world opener, isn't it? And every single piece is missing. We have 31 jiggies. We need almost all of them. I'm sad to say, down there you'll stop. Cause I'm safe here at the top! <laughs> you need 25 jiggies to complete that final picture. You're only allowed to miss 6 jiggies in the entire game. So that's a lot of stuff to collect. And this is the final room. Hey, Deepot. Oh, what a disgusting smell! Ooh, visitors for Deepot. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Oh, what does strange birdie thing mean? Uh, she said that uh, we're looking for Gruntilda. Uh, do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sick at me earlier on. If you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes that I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. Don't worry, Dean Pot. We'll sort her out. If you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just wash on in and I'll fire you up to the car. Jump in there? No way, Dunbox. Come on, Kazooie! You get a chance to peck the witch's butt! Let's go! And there are four more note doors in here. One that needs 864 notes, one that needs 828 notes, one that needs 882 notes, and then I believe the final one over here, 846. So let's open up the 28 one first. <laughs> It says a giant egg that completely refills up all of your eggs. That's nice. That's 64, and that's 4. Alright, so 46 one is next. Did I tell you she cooked me? It was awful. Yes, you did. That completely refills all our red feathers. This completely refills all our gold feathers. That's the one I really wanted. And then this final door, which you need almost every note in the entire game in order to open. Your feathered buddy that you've brought? Useless like a pile of dung. 
It's the true final Jiggy Pedestal. Which takes four Jiggies to complete. And that doubles your HP. Yeah, that's worth it. Alright. Let's take on Grotola. I can't believe that furry pair got right up here. It's so unfair. But now the stupid bear must fight. This battle tests your skill and might. <laughs> this is one of my favorite final bosses, like, ever. So first, Grunty's flying around on her broomstick. We gotta avoid her dive bomb attacks. And when she stops like this, grab a tat wrapper. Ouch! My gut you nearly hit if your shot was down a bit. What's great about this fight is it's, it's a mall multi-phase fight, epic music, and it actually is re legitimately challenging, especially if you didn't get the double HP or a lot of the upgrades. And you basically have to use every single move you've learned in the game against her, which is great. It just feels like a really well done and legitimately tough final fight, but not unfairly tough. Definitely not unfairly tough. Just legitimately tough. First phase is really easy. And Greg Herkokov is a master of music. This final boss theme is amazing. Magic spell of Banjo Homie! Get him now to stop his roaming! So now she fires a homing spell at us. We've got to use our invulnerability to get rid of it. It's too easy, I fear. Now watch me step things up again. So now she's on the wall here. And she'll be chucking fireballs at us. That last blast you forgot to duck. So Banjo's useless head, it's struck. Yeah, we got to shoot her with eggs now. That's not fair! I wasn't ready! I feel faint and all unsteady! And this is tricky because we gotta dodge her spells and shoot her in between. So let her chuck some spells and then we'll wait for her gap. Like that. Very difficult. What? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> that the physics on that made no sense. I got hit in my front, and it knocked me the opposite way of when it where it hit me. But I mean, it hit my front, and it knocked me towards where the blast came from. What the heck? Wow. That was dumb. <laughs> Grunty's such a great villain there. Holy cow. <laughs> like, it's such a simple concept, just like an evil witch. But she is like THE evil witch from video games. Like, she perfectly embodies the stereotype. Well, I didn't want to use a feather. I mean, I know I got 20 of them, but still. Yeah, if you don't have 20 invulnerability feathers, and you don't have double HP, if you haven't found all the hollow honeycombs, <laughs> this fight's really tough. But, like, every phase gets progressively harder. The first phase is really easy. Did you hear that lovely clap? My broomstick gave you such a whack. Magic spell of Banjo Homing, get him now to stop his roaming. Like, 
you can't get the camera angle such that you can shoot her easily. Like, you can't just do a straight camera angle. I can't dodge with all this weight! Those nasty eggs I sure do hate! Well, that's fine, because I hate your magic spells. Yeah, take that, Grunty. Here, you took another zap! I got you through that little gap! Did I only hit her once? Really? Now I'm off into the air, leaving Banjo stuck way down there. Quick, use this fly pad to get up there and teach her a lesson. So now we get to beak bomb her, which is actually hard. Old Bottle Brain has taught you well, but bears don't fly, and I can tell. <laughs> Yow, that beak gave me a jolt, so now you can have this lightning bolt. Yeah, hitting her in the air is actually legitimately difficult. Because the beak bomb attack doesn't control the best. And she's pretty fast in the air. And I hope you don't run out of red feathers, because there's only a few on the level you can pick up. It's very satisfying, though, to be a conqueror. I want Jumbo! That's the one thing I will say about this fight. It is possible to just permanently mess up and you can't beat her if you use some health or red feathers. That pointy beak did not miss, but now let's see it get through this! So now she surrounds herself with a magic shield, and we can't beat Bob her anymore, because it's an invulnerable shield. Ouch. You're a good shot. My spirit bird saved Jinjos from the witch! Now we help! So your little furry friends, come here to share your bitter end! Yeah, the Jinjos actually help us out now. Those nasty pointy beaks are causing swelling in my cheeks! Orange Jinjo, fight me! Fight me, no, fight her. Get used to that! There's plenty more of other nasty spells in store! Gertie's very good at leading her shots. Green Jinjo. Oh wow, that just destroyed a broomstick. My broomstick failed with that last blow. Now on my old legs, I have to show. Uh, I didn't see you read that last word. Yeah, Gr Grunty's a really good shot. It's she like always throws it exactly where you're going to be. The mighty Gingonator! Activate me! I really think you ought to run when I beat him and spoil your fun. So we gotta shoot eggs in a whole bunch of crevices here. Until it's uh, there's a door that'll see yeah, it. So we saw the door seal up there. There's one in the back. Uh, 
How did that hit me through the statue? Ouch! What the heck? Just activate the stupid. What the heck? There we go, finally. Yeah, I almost died even with double health. <laughs> See your Jinjo fail to work. He's nothing but a feeble jerk. He's got just one more spell! You missed. <laughs> Holy cow, that last fight is a bad thing. Ooh, that's kind of smart. She's still alive, though. Holy cow. <laughs> Too heavy! Grunty's fate, this should not be! So hurry, Kalungo, rescue me! Now we all hang out at Treasure Trove Cove. Or a place that looks remarkably similar. It's actually DK Island. Not really. He bought his jet ski! Ski 1000. There's like an actual human here. That's not grunty. Huh. Ah, this is great! Have we finished now, Tootie? Can I relax? Sure, Banjo! You and Kazooie are heroes now! Did you hear that? Shorty, I'm a hero! Hmm, <laughs> yes, I suppose you are! Well done, Kazooie! Thanks, Goggles. You're not so dumb after all. That's enough, Kazooie. Let's all watch the cast of this now. <laughs> Let's all watch the credits. Now it gives us a... Reminds us of all these characters. Kongo, who was in it for like two seconds. He gets a bigger role in the sequels. To Whopper. I love that final fight so much, and I love how the Jinjos come back to help you. Because it really, because the Jinjos kind of feel like a like tacked on, like oh yeah, collect one of these in each world to get like the Jiggy, which you kind of get in every platforming game, every free platforming game. But then in this one, it's like it actually play a really big role at the end. It's very, it's just very satisfying. I love it. And, and like you saw, that was a legitimately difficult fight. I had like. All the HP, then double that, and I only had two HP left at the end. Granted, that that last G the Jinja Mater statue can be a little glitchy at times with accepting whether the eggs go in or not. Oh, Lockup! That's its name. Little Lockup. 
Yeah, I, I love this game. Banjo-Kazooie is amazing. There's another game that was made, like, only a few years later for the N64 called Banjo-Tooie, which is the sequel. I actually like that more than Banjo-Kazooie, which I think I'm in the minority for that. Most people prefer this one. I will let's play Banjo-Tooie in the future. I love that game so much. And I think I've only actually beaten it once, so that should be a fun little... And I haven't- I've never gotten everything in that game. I, I've gotten everything, I think, except one Cheeto page. And you know which one it is. <laughs> Those of you who have played that game, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. Grill Chompa. Forgot about those. That's their name. Oh yeah, this, the Mutie Snippets. They were freaky and I didn't point out. Yeah, they were like mutated snippets. Whiplash. Yeah, for, for Banjo-Tooie, the, the main thing about Banjo-Tooie is it's way longer and bigger. Like, in this, the worlds are small enough that you beat them in a sitting. In Banjo-Tooie, no. Banjo-Tooie, they're like way, way bigger. The Jiggies are way trickier to get. Like, in, in Banjo-Kazooie, the Jiggies are literally just lying out for you to find it. Not really so in Banjo-Tooie. In Banjo Tooie, like, you have to do big side quests in order to beat them. Yeah, Grommy, Soggy, and Moggy. And I, I will also say the other issues, like, in Banjo Kazooie, there were a couple of worlds that I don't really like Clanker's Cavern, Rusty Bucket Bay. To a certain extent, uh, Click Clock Wood. But because the worlds are small in this, if, if you don't like the world, it's not that big of a deal. Whereas in Banjo Tooie, if you don't like the world, it's like, oh, sucks to be you, because you gotta be here for a while. And I Thing. I think Banjo Kazooie has uh, lower lows, but fewer lows. Well, I don't really know. I'll have to cover that more in Banjo Tooie. But in Banjo Tooie, there's like only one or two worlds that I actually really dislike. Whereas in this, there are like three or four worlds that I dislike. The Ancient Ones. Also, I'm of the opinion that the Game Boy Advance Banjo game is not terrible. If you go in expecting the first, the Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie, you're gonna be very disappointed. If you just go in expecting like a platforming game, it's it's fun. It is fun, but it's nowhere near as good as the N64 games. I fully admit. But also, I played the GBA one first. Because I'm like Banjo Kazooie, I've heard this is good. I got the GBA game. I'm like, yeah, this is a lot of fun. And then I played the N64 game, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much better. <laughs> hey, his time. I also haven't played Ukulele yet, which I've heard is basically the spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie. And also, this Let's Play is not quite over. I have two bonus videos planned. There's a super secret in Spiral Mountain that we're gonna go to Portrait Chompa. And that'll be one video, and then the other video will be covering possibly the last few Mumbo tokens that I didn't get, as well as. Um, those special rooms with the fanfares that are different than they are in your game. And there's not much I can show off of it because I can't, like, reese. Whether or not those rooms are different is tied to your cartridge. So now that we have it in this, on this cartridge, we can't, we, like, we can't redo it, like, ever again. As far as I can tell. But I can at least go over what we did. Grimlet. Flotsam. Not Life Ender? Seaman <laughs> Grublin. Ah, hi! Oh, yeah, you chump. That's your name. Snare Bear. Oh, that's a good name. Okay. That's why it doesn't eat the big clucker. That's why it doesn't eat the bee, but it eats bear, uh, Banjo. Because it's a bear snare. The Zubba's. A lot of these characters will reappear in Banjo Tooie. Maybe not Grublin Hood, though. Whip Crack. Okay. Whip Lashes and Whip Cracks are slightly different. Whip Cracks are vegetative. Whip Sniff and Whip Lashes are, uh, organic. They're right, made of flesh, apparently. She just got fruit plate here on Ugh, her eyes, though. Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures. Nice one, Bone Brain! What's on them? Got pictures of things you missed. 
Secrets used in next game. Ooh, did you hear that, Kazooie? We're going to be in another game. Great, so let's see the pictures then, skirt boy. Did you get all 100 jigsaw pieces? We sure did, Mr. Mumbo. Yeah, so show us your secrets, Mask Midget. Pictures show things you missed. Secrets that are for new game. Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Tooie? Sounds great. Is it any good? It's amazing. Mumbo's jaw dropped in awe. <laughs> it's true. It's really, really impressive for an N64 game. Hey, why isn't it called Banjo-Kazooie-Tooie? I'd better be in it, too. Short stuff. Banjo-Tooie make Banjo-Kazooie look like a joke. Mumbo show you pictures of stuff can use in new game. Here. Actually, not true. Go find the first secret on the beach. Shark for Dio, I point out. Hey, Shorty, how did you make that rock rise up? <laughs> Mumbo not telling. I didn't actually go inside. Wow, a secret cavern! Bear and bird must climb to top. What's up there, dumb skull? Wait and see, oh filthy feathered one. Gulp? It looks rather high. Don't worry, Banjo. It looks like I have to get us up there. Pink egg. Next secret found in snow. That's Waza's cave. Yeah, you're kind of putting the pieces together, aren't you? We've already been in here. Hey. What was that egg for on the beach? Tell us! Bird, be quiet. Watch picture. What's for here? Cool, a giant ice key. I know where I'd like to stick that. Kazooie? Another secret can get in desert. Nice, Mumbo. Please tell us what the eggs and key are for. No, bird rude to Mumbo, not tell. I wonder what's in here. Huh, it's only another stupid egg. Wow, how do we get those? Mumbo not telling, find out in Banjo-Tooie. Actually, we won't find out in Banjo-Tooie. I have no idea how people uh, learned how to get these, but that'll be for a bonus video. Whey! <laughs> and that's Banjo-Kazooie. Well, almost. <sighs> Rock so heavy, but Klongo must rescue mistress. All the jiggies you did snatch! But I'll be back for my rematch! <laughs> the end. Yeah, those eggs and the key in this game. Very, very famous. Anyhow, that's all the time we have for this episode of Banjo-Kazooie. Thanks all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Keep in, uh, tuned in for the two bonus videos that will be coming out, and I hope you stick around and enjoy more of my content in the future.
Thanks so much, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and may God bless you wherever you are. Thank <laughs> you.